For months, local boutiques have been trying to stay afloat through online orders and deliveries. And starting today, they can finally reopen to in-person business. But there are a few changes to how things are being run. LEX 18's Eleanor Buckley has that story. Peggy's Gifts has been open since 1990. And in those over two decades since, they've made hundreds of loyal customers. And today, owner Peggy Queen says they finally get to welcome them back. We didn't know how long it was going to last. You're like anybody else, and hopefully it'll just kind of ease right along. But they're doing things a bit differently. They've installed a sneeze guard at their register and are providing hand sanitizer, gloves, and PPE to their customers, as well as trying to keep the number of people inside at a time limited. We're trying to kind of monitor, I think the requirement now is 10 people or less in a group, so we're trying to count that that way. And not far down the road, another local store, As You Go Boutique, is opening for the first time. They had planned their grand opening for March, but due to COVID-19, they had to put that date on hold until now. Obviously, when you're opening your business, you don't imagine the grand opening involving face masks and social distancing. But um, we're excited and we know that the shop local movement is stronger than ever right now. And we're hoping that this will make us stronger than ever. And we're excited to finally be open. And if people don't feel comfortable shopping in person yet, many boutiques are still offering curbside pickup. Carrie Burkett, owner of James C. Boutique, says her customers can call to set up a private showing if that makes them feel more comfortable. But for the most part, she says people are excited to be back. It's the best feeling because people are dying to get out. They're just itching for something to do. So it's really great to see all of our normal customers and everybody's so happy. So well, it may be a bit different. These store owners are excited for what the future holds. In Lexington, Eleanor Buckley, LEX 18 News.